Hey everybody, it's Clark with the Down South IT Podcast, back with you, got another unboxing video for you. And just to give you a little bit of background on this, uh, this is going to be for the Motorola Moto X Generation 4. And my work phone decided it wanted to slow down and work like it was basically 2007. So, I had to bite the bullet and get a new phone for work. So, figure I might as well go ahead and do an unboxing unboxing video for it. This phone is a little bit <clears throat> on the older side. It debuted back in late 2017. So, it's still about a year and a half old already, give or take. Uh, almost two years old. Uh, the phone I had before was actually probably closer to three years old before I even picked before I even bought it so that could be why it's kind of crapped out but I digress anyway we'll go ahead and I'll just give you a couple of highlights of this uh, this before we actually get into the unboxing it's a 5.2 inch phone with the HD resolution so it's 1080 by 1920 has kind of a weird camera setup to be honest it's got a 16 megapixel front facing camera for selfies and video uh, calls and that sort of thing and it actually has dual <clears throat> excuse me dual rear, rear cameras one at 12, 12 megapixels and then an, uh, a wide angle 8 megapixel for wide angle shots so that's kind of a little bit of a weird camera setup to be honest uh, it's about five and a half five and a half to close to six ounces so it's a little on the hefty side not not too bad this one does not have a removable battery so it is IP68 uh, water and dust resistant up to five feet it has a fingerprint touch sensor on it uh, and as far as hardware goes we're actually there's a couple of different variations of this phone but it's uh, they both run the Snapdragon 630 processor and the Adreno 508 GPU. The two different variations are actually going to be in the memory and the storage. Uh, one's a 32 gig, which this one is, and the other is a 64 gig. And <clears throat> this one has a 3 gigabytes of RAM, and the 64 gig has 4 gigabytes. Other than that, everything else is exactly the same. This one is a uh, strictly unlocked phone. So there, you can put it on any carrier. Uh, according to Best Buy's website, if that can be believed, it, it was this one's actually a Best Buy exclusive model. I'm not 100% sure on that, so you can take it what you will. But that's what they're claiming. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. So. I even left the plastic on for y'all. Didn't even open it up. And believe it or not, this box is actually fairly heavy for for the size of it. All right. And with all of the Motorola boxes, it's basically caught the, that hardened cardboard. <clears throat> they usually have some kind of feather or colorful motif with a. a a colored background on it so this one's actually pretty close to that it's a little bit different design than the ones I've seen before but they're not too this one's actually not bad with the the beta fish on the top it's kinda interesting alright come on you <clears throat> and there she is so there's the phone right there and we'll go ahead and pull that out just put that on the side for now and then we'll dig into the rest of the box and see what's in here. So here I'm assuming is all of the regular normal type paperwork that comes with it. <clears throat> Motocare, readme files, stuff like that. Legal information. And what else they got in here? Ah, okay, so that's the, the little pin for the SIM card, uh, SIM tray. So, interesting. And that's all I can see from that, so we'll leave that on there. Also, we have our charging cable. Come here, you. 
a regular USB type A and it's a USB type C as you can tell from the the oval so this one uses type C charging has Motorola turbo power not sure how many watts or volts that is I get, let me read here and see And of course, it's too small to read. Looks like 5 volts at 3 amps. So that's still quick charging. Not bad. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Alrighty. So now that we got that out the way, we're going to take a look at the phone itself. Of course, it's got the little screen protector on it. So we can get that off. And as we can see, you've got the fingerprint sensor there. It is just a sensor. It's not a, an actual physical button. So there's our USB Type-C charging port and data port. And they do have the headphone jack, which is nice. You, a lot of phones don't have that now, but granted, this phone was from a couple of years ago. So on the right side, we have the volume rockers and the power button and... <clears throat> Sorry for clearing my throat so much, you guys. I'm starting to get sick. But the buttons themselves, they they have a pretty good feel to them. You got to actually push them in there. I, I wish they would be a little bit more pronounced because I can imagine not being able to, you know, you know, kind of figuring out which one's which. Now the power button does have a texture to it. I don't know if you'd be able to see that. If I, it's kind of hard to see, but. The power button is actually textured, so that's a good feature, but I just wish the, the buttons were a little bit more pronounced and stick, stuck up a little more. Uh, on top, don't have anything. Left side, nothing. On the back, so here is, this is our dual camera setup, and we have the 12 megapixel camera here on this side, and this is the wide angle 8 megapixel camera right here. So that'll be kind of interesting to see and play with whenever I get to that. Dual LED flash. On top of that, we have our, on the front, we got our 16 megapixel camera up here on top. Earpiece right here in the middle. And they actually have an LED flash and light whenever, on this side for when you're doing voice calls or taking selfies or anything like that. So that'd be, that'd be kind of interesting. So... All right, let's power her up and see what she looks like when she boots. Hopefully, I don't have to power. No, I don't have to. Hopefully, it has at least a little bit of charge on it. There we go, guys. Up to the main screen. All right. Thank you for taking a look at the unboxing video. I'll probably do a long-term review on this one, being that I'm going to be using it every day for work. So once I get a few months into it and actually have a, a good bit of use on this phone, I'll probably post a long-term review on the website. I might do a video update. We'll see how it goes. I'm not 100% sure how I want to do it yet, but... Anyway, whenever you get a minute, please like and subscribe to the video on the channel so you can keep doing some of these videos and unboxing and stuff like that for y'all. Don't forget to stop by the website, DownSouthITPodcast.com, which by the time this video gets uploaded will be completely and utterly brand new, built from scratch. So that way you, it's come optimized for tablets and mobile devices so I had to change my my website host and do a different hosting so I was able to rebuild the the website completely from scratch um, this video is actually gonna have 
they still have about two weeks left as of the time of this video which I'm doing this video on May 10th of 2019 so you have up until the 31st of this month if you go to the website they'll have a pop-up that shot that shows up you can enter to win the on-the-go giveaway which is the uh, two port quick charger the mini power bank and the cables so that anything that you have that you want to be able to charge you can please go do that if you get a second don't forget to stop by the Facebook page too. check out all of the stuff I have on the Facebook page at down south IT you can always email me down south IT at gmail.com uh, anything else please refer to the website I have all kinds of stuff on there some of the other unboxing videos I have a, the streaming player for the all the rest of the podcast everything like that everything's on the website so please visit the website down south IT podcast.com let me know what you think like I said just either drop me an email or find me on Facebook leave a comment let me know and thank you all got thank you for watching don't forget go enter for the giveaway I'll see y'all on the 31st whenever the giveaway is uh, when I draw, do the drawing for the giveaway. Thank y'all very much. Have a great day.